Saint Therese of Lisieux, Little Flower, who is famous for sending roses from heaven. She was born on January 2, in 1873, in Alençon, France. Therese died on September 30, 1897, in Lisieux, France. She was canonized in 1925 by Pope Pius XI. She is the patron saint of AIDS sufferers, aviators, bodily ills, florists, France, illness, loss of parents, missionaries, and tuberculosis. The parents of Therese, Louis Martin and Zelie Guerin married on July 13, 1858. Within the next 15 years, Zelie bore nine children, seven girls and two boys. Within three years, Zelie's two baby boys, a five-year-old girl, and a six-and-a-half-week-old infant girl all died. Louis and Zelie Martin had five surviving daughters, Marie, 12, Pauline, 11, Leonie 9, Celine, 3, and their newborn. Louis and Zelie named their newborn, Marie Francoise Therese Martin. All five daughters became nuns. Marie Francoise Therese was baptized two days after her birth. She explains, all my life, God surrounded me with love. Due to Teresa's weak and frail condition at birth, she was taken care of by a nurse for her first year and a half. Little Teresa was blonde, blue-eyed, affectionate, and stubborn. Teresa's mother died when she was only four and a half. She developed a very close relationship with her father. At the age of 14, on Christmas Eve in 1886, Teresa had a conversion that transformed her life. From then on, her powerful energy and sensitive spirit were turned toward love, instead of selfishness. At 15, she entered the Carmelite convent in Lisieux to give her whole life to God. She took the religious name Sister Therese of the Child Jesus and the Holy Face. Living a hidden, simple life of prayer, she was gifted with great intimacy with God. Through sickness and dark nights of doubt and fear, she remained faithful to God, rooted in His merciful love. After a long struggle with tuberculosis, she died on September 30, 1897, at the age of 24. Her last words were the story of her life, My God, I love you. The world came to know Therese through her autobiography, Story of a Soul. She described her life as a little way of spiritual childhood. She lived each day with an unshakable confidence in God's love. What matters in life, she wrote is not great deeds, but great love. Therese lived and taught a spirituality of attending to everyone and everything well and with love. Therese's spirituality is of doing the ordinary, with extraordinary love. She loved flowers and saw herself as the little flower of Jesus, in God's garden. Her inspiration and powerful presence from heaven touched many people very quickly. If alive, she would have been only 52 years old when she was declared a saint. My mission, to make God loved, will begin after my death, she said, I will spend my heaven doing good on earth. I will let fall a shower of roses. Roses have been described and experienced as Saint Teresa's signature. Countless millions have been touched by her intercession and imitate her little way. She has been acclaimed the greatest saint of modern times. In 1997, Pope John Paul II, declared St. Therese a doctor of the church. St. Therese's feast day is October 1st. Please subscribe to Catholic News World's YouTube channel. Thanks and God bless.